Okay, welcome back everybody to another video. I bet you can't guess it, but uh, I'm back on the San Marcos River. I was thinking about going to try some other places, but I just love coming here so much. So I decided I'd come out again and try a different, little bit of a different technique. I'm gonna throw the frog around and then uh, later in the day, I do believe I'm gonna bust out uh, a swim bait and see if I can't entice a bigger fish to bite. So uh, hang in there, stay a while, and uh, let's go catch some fish. There's one. Oh, missed it. Actually, I think he got it, but <laughs> not a very big one. There's one. Of course I'm all tangled up. because it's a tiny fish it's funny because he was over there busting on top of the water and i just cast it right over there to him and sure enough he was dumb enough to bite see you later cool one frog fish for the day honestly not the size i was going for but i guess it takes the skunk off the table let's keep fishing oh Dude, big, that was, no, bro, bro, that is a tragedy that just happened right there, holy crap, damn, son, that was a good fish, I think that was a knot failure too, I don't even think that that was a knot break, golly, kind of sucks too, because now that fish is going to have a freaking frog in its mouth, <sighs> okay, all right, going to have to tie on, be right back. Okay, I'm tied back on and I actually put on a slightly bigger frog, cut my uh, fluorocarbon leader and just going straight braid because I don't want to break off again. That was a nice fish that I just lost. And uh, I'm just going to keep casting and uh, I think we got an overcast day today. So I'm thinking that the top water action can go a little bit later in the day than it usually does. Uh, the other thing working for me is that the temperature is not supposed to uh, get over like 92 degrees today, which is freaking unlike texas weather in uh, mid to late july but uh yeah let's keep on fishing oh dude stupid fish are just missing it all right everybody just tied on a swim bait um, kind of a last ditch effort and honestly one of the first times i've ever thrown a swim bait but this is a sixth sense lure that i bought um, a while back to kind of test out but i just never got around to it so i figured you know the back end of today will probably be a good time to use it so let's throw it around a couple casts and see if we can't at least uh, get a big one to follow it or just a fish to follow it or bite it um, i'm kind of excited to see uh, what this thing can do first cast with the swim bait i don't even know if this is a glide bait or what i just kind of you know, I saw some videos online of people catching fish with these things. And uh, that's all they do is throw these big swim baits. I mean, this one's not even that big. It's This is like a medium size. But I thought to myself, dude, that would be a lot of fun on these clear rivers. And, uh, you know, you could probably pull out some giants. And at the very least, you could use it as a as a way to, you know, draw in some fish and see, see just what's swimming around these waters. Okay, I've been on the struggle bus all day. We've only caught one fish, one in the boat. We broke one off. That was a good one. And we've had a couple of swipes so i put in my time trying different lures and uh, i just threw on one of my go-to's it is in the wrong color though i ran out of my pumpkin uh pumpkin color but we're running the black and blue so hopefully i can catch a fish also it's a little bit bigger than what i usually throw so we still might not catch anything um we're catching anything else but at least i'm giving myself a little bit of a chance before i leave today Okay, I decided to get out of the kayak and walk a little bit, kind of get in this water. It is getting a little hot outside and I tell you, this water feels nice and it looks like a really good spot to fish, but I don't know. I haven't had too much luck today, so we'll see if we can pull anything out of here. Looks like I'm going to find a snake before I find a fish. Bad cast. No cast. Although that I could really see a, 
like a nice bass just hanging out here. Oh, like that. Oh, <laughs> oh that was cool. Let's go. That was fun. Cool beans. Nice little tiny bass. Uh, all I did really was just put on one of those little Z-Man uh, craw. Let's see if you can see that. Oh, can't see it. Anyway, Z-Man craw and uh, just put like a 1 16th ounce weight on there and threw that into some current and boom, this guy bit. And I bet you if I had to put money on it, there's probably a bunch more where that came from. So I'm gonna keep, keep fishing and see if I can't catch any more of these guys. Oh, there we go. Nice. Another tiny little bass, but honestly, after the day I've had, I'll take it. I mean, come on. If you haven't caught anything, if you're not catching many fish, don't lie. You know you'd, you know you'd appreciate these kind of fish right here. They mean something. And look at this water. My goodness, this is so nice. Let's let him go. Tell you what, those little ones are so quick. But that's gonna wrap it up for this little spot. I'm gonna jump down one more time. I'm gonna go to another little set of rapids on the river here and uh, see if I can't pull out maybe like one more of those little tiny sized bass, one or two more, and then head back home because it is getting a little late. It's about one o'clock. So let's go ahead and jump to the next place. All right, I'm giving myself like 15 minutes a fish in this little rapid set here, as you can see. Nice little rapid. Kind of goes up into that embankment there and then washes that one out. There's also another little rapid up there, but I'm not going to mess with that one. Just because I don't want to trek over there. But uh, I have a feeling we'll catch a fish pretty quick. It's a little sucker fish right there. There's one. It's not a bad one either. Guys, not happy. Nice little fish there. Let him go. Adios, friend. <laughs> this couple is fighting so bad right now. He is, if we're being honest, it doesn't matter what she did, but I think she might have like flung him into a tree on accident. But his reaction was like, I mean, you would have thought they were getting robbed at gunpoint. That's how bad he was screaming. And uh, instead of just like realizing it and being like, oh yeah, that was a little crazy that I reacted that way. He's like <laughs> standing on his, standing on business and just not owning up to it at all, chewing her out. And just to reiterate on that whole situation, that guy's issue was not with her throwing him into stuff. It was because he thought he got spiders on him. <laughs> So he was like really worried he was gonna get bit by the spiders, I guess. But dude, if you're gonna go out on a river, if you're gonna go float five, six miles down a river, then you gotta know there's probably gonna be bugs out there. Haven't seen a grown man act like that in a long time. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. Uh, I got a big group of kayakers ahead of me. I just wanna get past them and to my truck before they get there. And uh, yeah, it's late. I need to go home, caught a couple of fish today, saw some, some crazy, people on the river i feel like i always do and uh, all in all it's just a really good day so thanks for tuning in well this will be a faceless video where you'll never see my face but uh i guess i will see y'all in the next one thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe see y'all later